Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful lacy Christmas earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself and I'm using really simple stuff like only seed beads and regular earring findings and by the way these supplies here are sent to me by my friends from BB Craft and down there in description you will find a discount code and uh, you will find all the links to the materials that I'm using here. If you're new here consider subscribing because you will be inspired often usually twice a week and you will be able to make your beautiful presents for Christmas and if you're not new here you could definitely skip this intro but I have just a few words to say down there in description you will find a link to a new feature which is to become a member of this channel it comes with nice perks and in this way you support me and make me do more and more videos down there you will find links to all my social networks and you are invited to share pictures of the work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page and you will also find links to my second channel and to my PayPal link for donations. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 11 seed beads in three colors, the Christmas colors, red, green and golden. And they are sent to me, as I told you in the beginning, from my friends from BB Craft. Here I'm using earring findings in golden color, also sent from this supplier. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span and a half of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm going to pick up 12 golden beads. Okay, and I have my 12 golden here and I'm going to slide those down. Stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. Okay, I make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and in this way I make surgeon's knot or half hitch knot then I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and now I will go through some beads in this direction okay and now what I want to take here are two red beads and as I'm exiting from this golden, I'm going back through the same golden here. Just like this. And I pull. Okay, now I have this. Then what I do in my next step is go through the next two golden beads. And I'm going to repeat this same step. Take two red beads, go back in circle through this golden and also go through the next two goldens. And when I do this, I save one movement. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm here at the right place where I need to add my next two beads and I take them and I go back through this golden and through the following two again. So when I pull I have this. Okay. And guess what guys, I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Until I have six of these beautiful loops that I'm showing here. Okay. 
Now in my next step, what I want to do is go in this direction. And now as I'm exiting from this golden here, I want to go through the red that is next to it. Now I want to take one green bead and go as I'm exiting through one of the reds, I'm going through the other red. Then again, I take a golden and I go through the other golden, uh, through the other red, sorry. Okay, then again a green, go through the other red, exiting out of one red, here I'm taking green and I'm going through the other one, then I take one more golden and I go through the next red one. Okay. I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Okay, continue and meet me here. Okay, and here I am where I need to add my last golden bead. I'm adding it. And then I'm going through the green. And as I'm exiting through this green here, I'm taking three green beads and I'm going back in circle through this one, making a cross of four beads, also called right angle weave. Then I'm going through all of the beads in this direction. Okay, then I go here through the next green, I take three and I go back. I'm going to show you this one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, my goal is to exit out of this green bead, three, go back, okay and I will finish this and I'll be back, okay and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and now guys what I want to do is go through this green bead like this and I will take one red and go through this green then one more red and go through this green you see then one more red and go through the golden Then one more red, go through this green. Again red, go here. Again. Go here. Again, go in the golden. In fact, I'm putting red from all, all the four gaps of my cross.
Okay, guys, and I will continue this. When I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Now, guys, I'm right where I started. And here I need to add my last seed bead from this row, which is again a red one. Okay. like this and now I will go here at the top I will take three red beads and I'm skipping here the green one and I'm going through the other red then again I go through all of those beads through the green and through the other two red beads and I pull now I need one red and I go back just like this Then I go in this direction through the green and through the next red. And I'm going to do the same things, guys. I'm taking three red beads, go here and go through as many beads as you can in this direction. Then here, as I'm exiting through one of the greens, I'm going through the other, sorry, through one of the reds, I'm going through the other red. And I take one red and I go back just like this, attaching a new bead to those two. Then I'm going here. Again, I'm adding three. Go here through all of the beads, even if you can go uh, right here to save time take just one go back the same way and through as many beads as you can in this direction and now guys repeat this until the end here you add three here one if you forgot how i'm doing it rewind and repeat it from here and i'll meet you okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bead from this row i'm attaching it here and now it comes a golden row how I do this, I go in this direction through the green and through the next two red beads and I'm exiting one bead away from the top and now I need three golden beads and I go through the following two then here what I need is one golden and I go through the red then again one golden and I go through the next two reds aiming to go out next to the bead that's sticking out the most at the angle then I need to take three and I'm skipping the angle and going through the next two then again one and go here again one go here and in the next one and then take three skip the top and go in the next two and continue this guys one one three one one three and i'll meet you here 
Okay, and at this step, I'm adding one golden here through these two reds. And what I want to do is go in this direction and exit through one of those newly added golden beads. And here, guys, I want to add three goldens and go exiting through one of my goldens, go through the other one. Okay, like this. Then what I do is that I want to reach through the shortest cut, my next golden. And I want to take three and go here. Then again, I want to go through the next two beads. And reach the golden. And don't worry that it might bend a little bit. Just pull it like this. In the next row, we'll fix it. Okay, and I need three again. And guys, I will continue this until the end of this row. And when I do this three more times, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I'm just adding here the last three beads from this row. Okay, and I pull tight. Then what I want to do, guys, is go in this direction and exit through these three golden beads to all the three of them. And what I want to do now, guys, is take three red beads and go through this golden that is sticking out. Then take three more seed beads and go here through these top three golems, through all the three of them. Then again, I'm taking three and I'm going here through the top bead. And then I'm taking three and I'm going through all the three goldens here, through all the three of them. Then again, three and through the top. Okay, and I will continue this and meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now I want to make a new row that is not obligatory, but I prefer to do this as I'm exiting through this first golden here. I'm skipping the next golden, going through the following golden and through the red after that. So when I pull here, I have an angle. Then as I'm exiting through first red, I'm skipping the next red and going through the following. If it doesn't want to form an angle, just help a little bit this middle bit and pull and it will go out in this direction. Then I'm going in the next red. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following red. And if you can, also through the following gold. When you pull, it forms an angle. Then I skip this golden in the middle and go through the following golden and form an angle. Then go in the next red. Skip the one in the center and go like this. If it doesn't want to pop out, just pull it and it will. 
then again and you will repeat this until the end here pop an angle pop an angle pop an angle pop an angle if you forgot just rewind and repeat these steps everywhere until the end okay and when i popped all the angles i'm exiting here through this red one and now i need five green beads okay five and i go in the next red then what i need here are seven red beads okay seven and i go i skip this golden here and go through the next red okay then again i need five greens and uh, I go here in the next red that is sticking out and then I need seven reds okay I need my seven here and I skip these goldens and I go through the next red okay and I will continue these guys until the end and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last seven red beads. And now guys what I want to do next. Uh, by the way if you want you could stop your work up to here but what I want to do is show you an idea how to continue this with one more row first you need to go through some beads in this direction okay here you have seven beads you want to add here three goldens at the top so here i'm going through one two three beads skipping the fourth one and going through the next two beads okay this is what i have then what i want to take next are nine golden beads okay i have nine here and i skip these red beads and i go here through these two beads and I'm one red bead away from the angle and going through these two beads okay now this is what I have then I take three goldens and add them at the angle and go through the next two then again nine okay and i go in the same place one red bead away from the angle and through the following two okay then add three seed beads okay three skip the top and go through the next two and again nine three nine three nine three and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now i'm exiting here and i'm adding my last nine beads from this row okay then what i want to do is just one additional step before my earring is ready and again it's not obligatory but I feel like it looks better in this way. So what I do, I go here in this direction and I go through the first four beads of this nine that I added in my previous step. Then I skip here the top and I go through the next four. and then i pull 
What I want to do next is go through some beats in this direction and go like this. Then skip the central beat and go through all of the beats here. So what I'm basically doing now is that I'm forming these cute angles. Continue doing them and I'll meet you here and tell you how to attach your earring finding. Okay guys, and I'm making here my last angle. Okay, from this row. And what I want to do is go here in this direction. And reach again an angle. Okay. Now, what I want to do is attach my earring finding. And how I do this, I take a green bead. I take my earring finding. I go through it. Then I take one more green bead and I go back here through this bead at the angle and I pull. And then I want to reinforce. And I want to go through some beads in this direction. And I will go here at the angle. And I want to make a knot and cut my thread. I'm making it by making here a loop like this. And going once and going second time through the loop I've made. And I pull. And I could repeat this knot several more times just to be sure. It's all nice, tight and secure. And when I'm ready, I cut my thread. Okay, guys, and now my lacy Christmas earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button because in this way you will be inspired often and you will be able to make your Christmas presents in time and uh, other beautiful projects. You could also check description. There is a new feature down there that you could see which is to become a member. You could click on the join button or here at the eye icon to see it. So thank you so much for watching. In description you will also find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and the link to my fast clips channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.